Quebec was the epicenter of the faith. French author Paul Claudel called it the Tibet of Catholicism. Quebec was a shining star in the Canadian Catholic firmament with a vibrant and orthodox Catholic faith. This remained true as late as the mid-20th century. In 1958, more than 85% of the population self-identified as Catholic and nearly 90% of that number attended Mass regularly. Around 50,000 priests and religious ran the church's massive bureaucracy, taught at its schools and staffed its hospitals. Villages and streets bore the names of saints and municipalities were given the Catholic designation of parishes. In Parliament, a strong contingent of faithful Catholics held the line against laws liberalizing divorce, contraception, and abortion. And the French version of Canada's national anthem includes a refrain that the nation will carry the sword and the cross. French Catholicism, centered in Quebec, without question exercised the greatest influence on the rest of Catholic Canada. But in the mid-20th century, things took a downturn. Quebec became the starting point of the revolution. From there, the revolution spread like a cancer to the rest of Canada.